You want to have $80,000 in your savings account 12 years from now. You can make deposits at the beginning of each year. If the account pays 7% interest, what amount must you deposit each year? So here this is an example of an annuity due because the deposits are made at the beginning of each year. So uh, the calculator needs to, to be set to begin mode and you need to use the annuity due when you're using the formulas. So what happens here is you're making deposits okay so you're making deposit today you are making another one at the beginning of next year another one at the beginning of next year and you want to have eighty thousand dollars at the end um, or 12 years from now so 12 years from now uh, you want to have so after 12 years you need to have eighty thousand dollars so the eighty thousand dollars happens at the end of the timeline which means that this is a future value Okay, and so here we need to use the future value annuity due formula to be able to determine the amount of the deposit. The future value formula says that FP equals to C times 1 plus R to the power T minus 1 over R times 1 plus R. So this is the formula that we have. Uh, C is an annual deposit, so R and T should also be annual. Um, the future value here is 80,000, which equals to C times 1 plus the R is 7%, and we input it into the, into the uh, formula as a decimal, so it would be 0 0.07. The T here, we're investing for 12 years, so it will be to the power 12, minus 1 over 0 0.07, times 1 plus 0 0.07. So here we, we have our all of our values. The best thing to do is to calculate uh, this, this side of the equation, and then uh, rearrange to be able to find C. So um, this is what we input into the calculator, okay? So 1 plus 0 0.07 is 1.07, and then we raise it to the power of 12 minus 1, and then we divide by 0 0.07. And then we multiply, so we have this number right here and we're going to multiply by 1 plus 0, 7. So multiply by 1.07 gives us 19.14. So this means that 80,000 equals to C times 19.14. And now we can just rearrange, so C equals to 80,000 divided by... 19.14, which gives us a payment of 4,179.72 dollars per year. So in order to have $80,000 at the end of 12 years, if the investment pays you 7% uh, interest, you need to deposit 4,179.72 per year. To be able to get this through the financial calculator, you need to set the calculator to begin mode and then input your variables. So what you need to do here is second PMT, second enter. You will see BGN, that means that the calculator is set to begin mode. First, before you enter your time value of money calculations, um, or you know you, you clear your time value of money calculations before you do anything. So we do know that 80,000 is the future value. We input it as a positive number because we're expecting to get that as a cash inflow to us at the end of 12 years. We're investing for 12 years, so 12 is N. The I over Y is seven, so I seven, I over Y, and then you compute PMT. And we get uh, 4,179.58. Again, uh, this is the most accurate uh, number, really close to what we have found. Uh, it, it looks like it's a negative number because we have to, uh, we, have to we have to invest 4,179.58 every year to be able to get to $80,000 at the end of 12 years if we invest at 7%. To make sure that you uh, set the calculator to the default, uh, you can do second PMT, 
second enter and then you should see that BGN disappearing.